I'm back. That's right. The wrestling snob, the old man wrestling fan, has found his way back home to pro wrestling Noah. Why did I ever leave it? I Let me try to explain myself just a little bit here, guys. I'll try to make this short. I've always wanted an American wrestling company that was wrestling done right. I mean, we used to have them. Back in my day, allow me to be the old man wrestling fan here for a second. Back in my day, when we had Mid-South, when we had World Class, when we had Georgia Championship Wrestling, when we had Jim Crockett Promotions, we had wrestling done right. And then my nightmares came true, and Vince McMahon won the wrestling war. He not only put the independents, the little small companies out of business, the territories, if you will. He put national promotions out of business. He put WCW out of business. He put ECW out of business. He put all his rivals out of business. I was clinging to wrestling done right by holding on to Ring of Honor as hard as I could hold on to. Now, I wasn't avoiding Japanese promotions because I hate Japanese promotions. I knew of them. The great Muta is one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. But look, growing up, I really, I just didn't want to watch Japanese wrestling. Again, I knew it was good, or I, I suspected strongly it was good, but I was content. I was happy with my American professional wrestling. And as it began to die off and Vince McMahon swaddled it all up, I just grasped Ring of Honor like a lifeline from the Titanic. And then, finally, when it died. And you could say it's still around. It's, it's around in name, sure. But when Tony Khan acquired it, I tried to like it. I even went to bat for Tony Khan. You can find one of my YouTube channels where I'm praising Tony Khan's Ring of Honor. Because I tried. I wanted to keep hope alive, if you will. Then, finally, I started getting a taste of companies like New Japan. You know, I started to see what they were like. I saw some of Noah in Ring of Honor, you know, and I started to think to myself, you know what? That might be the place I need to go. Maybe I need to start watching Puriso, Japanese professional wrestling, right? Maybe that could be my saving grace. Maybe since all the companies that I like are dead and gone and this cartoony, goofy sports entertainment WWE is the only thing that's left, I can find some hope there. And so I started to investigate that, and I found New Japan World, and I was an early adapter to that. I mean, I'm not saying I was the first, but I was in the, the first group of people that really started to subscribe and get a handle on and come to understand New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I enjoyed it for some time until the elite came along, and I, I sort of, you know, accepted that for the longest time until it got to a point where I was so sick of it I could scream, and it pretty much turned me off of New Japan. And, you know, so I still had Ring of Honor. You know, it was still out there. Before Tony Khan got it, it was still out there. So, you know, I was watching that. I found Stardom, World Wonder Ring Stardom. It looked like a company that I would hate based on pictures. I mean, just small Japanese women in vibrant costumes. But when I found it and watched it and saw that the wrestling was amazing, I was like, wow, this sort of reminds me of Ring of Honor in a way. Just in a way, you know, the wrestling, the passion, you know, the, the stiffness of it. It just it felt legit or as legit as wrestling can be right so i had ring of honor stardom some new japan world like i said the elite was sort of annoying me i didn't know what all to do um i found pro wrestling noah uh sort of on some i don't know i don't want to say illegal but some streaming sites I, it was only on some japanese tv channels that i didn't know how to get so i found it on some drives, if you will, right? You could download shows and watch them. And I was doing that starting in 2017. You know, not super long time ago, but I've been watching Noah for a few years now. Might have been 15 or so, but you know, I've been close to 10 years on pro wrestling Noah. But it wasn't regularly. You couldn't find every single show. And that sort of dejects me, because when I like something, I really want to watch it. I really want to get into it. But I was watching it. New Japan, Stardom, Pro Wrestling Noah. And then the big news came out that Noah had signed a deal with uh, Wrestle Universe. And I was soon going to get to see every show that they did. Boy, I was excited. You know, I didn't need the WWE. Thank God, because I hated it. So now I'm to the point where I'm watching Pro Wrestling Noah. I'm watching Stardom. I'm watching New Japan. And then there was All Japan TV, 
which is an online streaming service, and I'm watching All Japan. Boy, I'm excited. I'm happy. Things are going good. Then, it was when we talked about just moments ago, Ring of Honor died to me when Tony Khan bought it and it was turned into AEWB or whatever. I don't know. The, the, the underbellied show of AEW, and AEW is bad enough. I tried watching AEW. Love a lot of those wrestlers. I do not like the way that show is booked, how it is put together, how it is ran, how it's presented. I don't like anything about it except some of the wrestlers, and that's not good enough for me to watch. And so when they swallowed up Ring of Honor, that wasn't good enough either. At this point, New Japan, I couldn't get into. Uh, the Elite had pretty much pissed all over it. I wasn't into that pretty much. I didn't denounce it. I didn't completely give it up, but I just sort of backed away, right? So now I've got Pro Wrestling Noah, World Wonder Ring Stardom, and All Japan. Now, I don't have time to watch tons of wrestling. I wish I had time to watch all these Japanese promotions that I like here in, in 2024. New Japan, All Japan, Noah, Stardom, Marigold, all terrific. But still, I wanted an American company. I, again, not no bias against the Japanese, you know, I love these Japanese promotions. But as an American who grew up watching American wrestling, I wanted an American company to succeed. But like I said, I tried AEW, and I, I couldn't do it. I tried the new Ring of Honor. I couldn't do it. TNA, come on, they traveled to alternate universes and have intergender matches. No thank you. NWA was good for a little while, and then it slipped into some backyard-looking trashy stuff. Just not for me. I'm sorry. Nothing against the wrestlers who work there. Not for me. So I'm sticking with Noah. I was big time. Noah's the best, right? And I still feel that way. Noah is the best wrestling in the world. But now everybody's telling me, hey, did you see this thing with Vince McMahon? And yes, I had seen it. So I started to pay a little more attention to it all my life. I've liked pro wrestling since I was seven years old. And all my life, I'm 54 now, I had never really faithfully watch WWF. I saw some matches. I saw some clips. I might have seen an entire show here or there, a pay-per-view or a Saturday night main event or whatever. The Hogan losing the title to Andre is majorly memorable, but I was not a major follower fan of WWF. I, Vince killed the companies I liked and I resented and kind of hated him for it. But if something was must-see, I checked it out. I wasn't completely ignorant to what was going on or went on in the WWE. But now with this Vince story and people assuring me Triple H taking over was going to change the business, I thought, you know what, I'll give it until WrestleMania 40 and I'll check that out. And I loved it. I loved WrestleMania 40. I thought it was awesome. I really enjoyed most of the shows since then. Some of the TV shows were kind of blah, kind of boring, left a little to be desired, the Raws and the Smackdowns, but the PLEs were pretty exciting. Then this past Friday, just two days ago, um, but this is the, I'm talking about August 16th, Friday Night Smackdown. They ran a segment with Nia Jax, um, Tiffany Stratton, and uh, those two goofy, pretty deadly guys that killed it for me. That, that showed me that Triple H is willing to go down in the dirt as low as Vince McMahon was. He's willing to put on trashy, wrestle crap, embarrassing, cringeworthy things, and that that ruined it for me. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing all the complaints. It was one segment, Adam. What's the big deal? You can get over it. Fast forward it, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Triple H showed me in that segment that he's still willing to accept complete trash and put it on his programs. And once you've done that, once you've shown that to me, I'm done. Tony Khan ruined AEW for me with the stupid singing, dancing, Gaga stuff he does on there. He ruined Ring of Honor by putting third-rate wrestlers on there and, and ruining the pure division. He doesn't know how to book the pure division at all, and wh whoever's helping him isn't doing it right either. I mean, no thank you. So I'm here to end this now nearly 10-minute video that I didn't want to make this long by apologizing. I should have never left Pro Wrestling Noah. I never disparaged it. I never put it down because it's good. It's awesome. It's great. It's the best. But in my excited hope that an American company, the WWE, could be different, could be good, could be wrestling done right, I spent a whole lot of time there trying to focus on that. I got a pretty popular TikTok, um, pushing 3,000 people following me on there. But 
I had to be loyal to who I am. And I am a wrestling snob. And I only like the best of the best. And that's pro wrestling, Noah. And I started watching the N1 the first day. was I think it's August 4th, right? I'm watching that. I'm in the middle of it. Not even quite the middle. I'm about the fourth match. And instantly, I remembered. I love this company. I love this style. I love this presentation. I, whoever trains these guys does an amazing job. This is what wrestling is supposed to be. How it's supposed to feel. What it's supposed to look like. It's perfection the presentation is perfect to me i don't like the crowd lit up i don't know why so many fans like the crowd lit up in the wrestling i don't put that spotlight on the ring and keep it there bitch i don't want to see people in the crowd and their signs and their sticky handed children i'm not interested i'm here to see the wrestling spotlighted and that's what pro wrestling does in more than just a literal way pro wrestling noah it's about the wrestling more than anybody is. AEW can say that what's their, but that's what they're about, but then they'll have Chris Jericho and MJF do a high knee kicking Broadway song and dance. They're not about the wrestling. WWE's not. TNA's not. They all, everybody wants to be a better WWE and they all suck at it. WWE with Triple H, Paul Levesque, wanted to be a better WWE and they're not. I'm sorry, they're not. This past Friday showed me that. So I'm glad to be back. I hope you accept me back. I hope those of you, I have like a whopping 300 subscribers, and that's fine, though. It's Pro Wrestling Noah. It's a niche audience. I, a niche audience, I guess I would say. And I get that. But that's fine, because I love it, and I just want to talk about it. If there's only a handful of you willing to listen, so be it. But I know that you're the intelligent internet wrestling community, if you will, because you get Pro Wrestling Noah. And only those of us with a wrestling mind know how to do that. I'm glad to be back, guys. I'm so glad to be back.